Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new episode of our NASCAR Heat 5 career mode here on the channel. I hope you're all having a great day fresh off of, you know, the ups and downs of the kind of beginning portion of this season where we'll get a top 10 then we'll miss out on the top 10. It just, there's a lacking consistency for sure right now. I finally am showing the points for all three series, by the way. The Xfinity series, Chase Purdy at the top of the board over Sheldon Creed, uh, as well as William Swalich there. Connor Zilich down in P15 over Carson Gwapel. Uh, Raja Ruth just outside the top 20 in the standings. Truck series, Caden Honeycutt at the top of the playoff standings over Friesen. Lane Riggs as well as Spencer Boyd, the Daytona winner. Uh, Parker Kligerman just inside the playoffs right now. We had some big news coming into this weekend here in Atlanta. We heard a potential uh, of some kind of tension between Stura Haas Racing as well as Ford. It became official this weekend that Stura Haas Racing and Ford are splitting at the season's end here. So season four, they will be going elsewhere. It is official. There is a lot of rumors right now that there could be a potential fourth manufacturer coming into the sport at the end of the season. So is Stuart Haas looking to go to this mystery manufacturer? Are they going to go maybe to Toyota? Are they going to return to uh, Chevrolet? We'll have to wait and see what's going to happen there. But the big news is out. Ford, SHR, over. The relationship comes to an end here. Uh, and it's announced this weekend in Atlanta here. You can see me getting some practice on the track. And as well, practice using uh, up the outside wall, as we would call it a practice. We have double duty this weekend as well. We are doing the Xfinity Series race in mid-Ohio here. So uh, two races for us to do this weekend now. But that means to qualify in the Cup Series, we had to miss qualifying in the Xfinity Series. So we will be starting at the back from the Xfinity Series series race but ready to go in the top right, golf machine here from Atlanta with a goal of a 29-229 here as we head down into turn number one it's pretty simple of a qualifying lobby basically want to hold it wide open and just pin it on that yellow line uh, by the center of the corner and then open up the wheel on the exit and you just repeat it again in turn number three and four get down to that yellow line as close as you can without hitting the apron and open it up on the exit heading down to the start finish line it's going to be a little right, bit off the goal by three tenths of a second down. that will put us p21 in the am better 400 here from atlanta motor speedway as we'll take a look at the rest of the qualifying order Corey heim daniel suarez all the way at the bottom of the grid there uh, as you can see not a great for our uh, teammates of joe gibbs racing here but on pole william byron again but hendrick motorsports one two three with larson elliott then bush and busher to follow through as we would focus in though on the xfinity series a few hours There's later we made it to the track starting from the back here in this green number 19 black, black. for joe gibbs racing here so road racing uh, of course one of my specialties here in nascar heat 5 as we've always had good success when it comes to these types of racetracks you look at our cup series career right now three uh, career wins under our belt all last season and two of them were road course wins the only oval being Martinsville there, the paperclip short track. So we have Martinsville coming up a little bit later in this season. It's a lot later than it usually is, so it will be a while till we return there. Expecting to see Connor Zillish run well in the Trackhouse Xfinity car, but actually never really materialized. And we were absolutely flying through the field here early on in this first stage. I mean, we went from the back inside the top 15 in just a few laps time, and we would end stage number one, P12. So I was very happy with that. Carson Guapo, Jesse love red slaps to wallet and actually nick sanchez showing up here after a rough start to his rookie campaign in the xfinity series stage two same thing just moving forward we got up to p6 by the end of the second stage but it was carson Vopel winning it again now i stayed uh with a bit of a bold strategy here so i decided to take two tires while everybody else took four this put me to the lead Going into the final stage uh, over Carson Kwapel, our teammates of Love and Sawalich, and it was pretty simple. I would drive away from these guys, uh, as you can see on lap 11 looking in the mirror. I mean, not really any real pressure from anybody here, so it was just about bringing it home uh, at this point now. And, and final lap here in mid-Ohio, keeping the gap pretty well the same, just comfortable, uh, but actually a caution is going to come out on the final lap 
So that is going to give us the victory here uh, from Mid-Ohio. So we'll absolutely take that. Winning an Xfinity Series race now uh, for Joe Gibbs Racing. The question is, can we take that over now into the Cup Series? And we'll take a brief look at the finishing order, of course, with us. Uh, Kvapel there, Jesse Love. How about Jade Buford in the top five? Parker Retzlaff and RCR has been doing really, really solid. Nick Sanchez stepping it up. So while it's Jones, Purdy, Vargas as well with the top ten. Chase Purdy been the most impressive Xfinity driver this season. Uh, the surprise there, uh, Connor Zilish at the uh, midfield just wasn't quite the day he was looking for. Now, though, let's get ready to go racing Sunday from Atlanta. We're back on the 1.5-mile track this weekend from Atlanta Motor Speedway. Kyle Larson dominated the first one in Chicago a few weeks ago and looks fast again this weekend. Is he the guy to beat today? I'd say he's in the conversation, Mike, but so is the whole Hendrick Motorsports team. They will be strong today, I guarantee. In the news this week, of course, Stuart Haas Racing announced they will split from Ford at the end of the year. Tony Stewart will join us in the booth next week to talk about that. But now, let's get ready to go racing in Atlanta. All right, team. Uh, some work to do uh, to get this car going quick today, but uh, let's just keep after it and uh, keep it clean. Absolutely, mate. Get after it all day long here. Ready to roll from Atlanta. Now, starting next episode, there's some exciting things on the way. If you saw my recent video on the channel with the free camera mod, uh, there's going to be some awesome, awesome things on the way in terms of presentation starting in the next episode of this career mode because this was actually recorded uh, beforehand here. Now, as you can see, Austin Sendrick and Kozlowski headed to the back of the grid, both having some inspection issues here. Now, we'll be starting uh, alongside the 27 of the Rookie of the Year contender, of course, Sammy Smith. Now, as a green flag is officially out here from Atlanta Motor Speedway P20 on the grid, row number 10 outside. Side. William Byron leads the field down into turn number one. We've been talking about it all season long, of course, winless last season, but he's really shown up this season and has put a lot of pressure on uh, for wins, but similar to last season, not quite able to execute to his full uh, potential and actually finish it off. Hendrick Motorsports only one win so far on the season. That is with Kyle Larson. We've only had one mile and a half race this season and we saw, well, of course, what happened there. It was pure Kyle Larson dominance. So, will we see something similar today? 14 laps here in stage number one. Uh, so, not a whole lot of time to kind of work with, but it's enough time to kind of get an idea of where we need to go with this number 19 car uh, going forward. And you can see me pushing a little bit arrow tight. It felt like there on the exit of turn number two, but we're okay. We maintain P20 just in front of John Hunter Nemechek. Now, Nemechek actually being rumored as one of the potential favorites to go into the number 11 of Denny Hamlin's car next season. Of course, you guys know Hamlin is retiring at the end of this season in this career mode now. Chase Elliott to the lead here, lap number three. How about Carson Hosevar? How about my teammates, uh, Gibbs and Bell? Last time we went to a mile and a half, what happened? Joe Gibbs Racing struggled uh, other than Ty Gibbs. Ty Gibbs ran really good, but Bell, myself, Hamlin, we were all outside the top 10 uh, for basically the whole race. Are we going to see that again? Because right now it's myself. Uh, Gibbs, Bell, outside the top 15. Denny Hamlin, uh, I believe, is running up ahead of us right now as we are looking up the inside here of the 16 called league machine of Alex Bowman. So this will put us into the top 15. Honestly, I think we've got a top 10 car here today. It's definitely different from, uh, you know, what we were showcasing uh, in that first mile and a half race from Chicagoland. But we'll go up the inside of Hosevar now. And as well, we are going mile and a half racing next episode as well. Uh, going to Las Vegas, the same track, of course, that the season will end on in the final four so everybody's going to kind of get an idea of maybe who could be the favorite when it comes around to that season finale uh, as we continue to run away from the cars from behind crash in the back though that's Riley Herbst in the number 38 who's gone around on the exit of turn four the caution's going to fly and immediately you see split strategy uh, on the leaderboard Elliott staying out Logano pitting uh, Bush is going to be the second one to pit in the track house 99 SVG I think uh, is staying out right there it said uh, I decide just looking at that I, I'm going to stay on the racetrack here. I think that's going to be the best option, uh, and it will give us a, as well an opportunity to get in position for a stage point, only one uh, at this current uh, moment here now as we get ready to roll for the restart. Ryan Blaney on our inside. Now another driver that's been winless for over a season. We're back racing, of course, just in front of us. you got your recent winner of Justin Haley here in that number 60. Watch out for him today uh, as he has had, of course, the first couple races 
the season didn't quite go well for him, but you saw me right there get into the back of him going into turn one. When you do that on a restart, it really slows down your car, and we unfortunately have exactly that happen. On the outside of our teammate of Ty Gibbs down this back straightaway towards turn number three, last episode winner, of course, uh, Ty Gibbs picking up the first win of the season for Joe Gibbs Racing, as well as first win uh, for Toyota just in general. So that was really important, I think, for us and the whole manufacturer to get to victory lane here is now a slice to the inside of Chandler Smith having a good run in that number 13 colleague machine. We see a couple of colleague cars up here. Bowman as well will pass him back up into the top 10 we go going for ninth place on Haley. Elliott continues to lead and now of course Elliott uh, you know, we keep talking about him uh, over the course of the season. Seven wins last season still came up short of a championship here. Bubba Wallace to the inside though in that money lion machine and he's going to take the lead. Last time we saw Bubba Wallace go to victory lane and this career mode was right here last season a bit of luck on his side gave him an opportunity to get to victory lane the difference is he seems to have shown up into this season with some pace but unfortunately he gives up the lead to Ross Chastain instead in that number one machine we run p8 and is kind of holding our own we're running away from the cars from behind uh, and we're closing in on Shane Van Gisberg in there your Sonoma Raceway winner from round two on the season but it's all Chastain on this final lap Larson second Bubba Wallace third Elliott fourth Busher Byron Van Gisbergen myself but can we get SVG coming to the line down the back straight away towards turn number three for the final time here in stage number one we will clear this 97 through the center of three and four and that track house motorplex card looks fantastic the same scheme Suarez ran in the all-star race last season in real life but it's all Ross Chastain winning stage at number one as it's going to be Larson, uh, Bubba Wallace, Chris Buescher, as well as Chase Elliott there uh, over Byron, myself, Ezri G, Haley, and Alex Bowman for Colleague Racing getting a stage point. Everybody that pitted under the last yellow made a mistake because now they all got to pit again to be on, uh, you know, a fighting chance going into stage two with tires. So we really benefited, got up into P7, very happy about that uh, as well. Uh, now we'll be starting behind that 17 and Buescher because the team gains us two spots in the pit. It's great pit stop sequence right there uh, as we're able to get in front of the 24 of William Byron as well as we are back underway for the start of stage number two. Ross Chastain picks up a playoff point here today in Atlanta with the stage one win. You got RFK machinery up here with Busher as well as Haley. What can Kozlowski do? Brad Kozlowski got sent to the back due to inspection issues and we didn't really see him make much headway there in stage number one. Can he move forward here in stage two on the inside now of that number five of Kyle Larson who's going to fight back to the outside of the 17. Larson's had an interesting season. I mean, he, he dominated the mile and a half at Chicago, uh, but as well, uh, you know, you look at last episode, it really wasn't a threat. There's a few races where he's just kind of not there, uh, but it feels like everyone right now in the whole field is just kind of struggling to find consistency. I think that the two most consistent drivers are probably so far Chastain uh, and maybe the nine of Chase Elliott. You look at Chris Busher, who's going for the lead, couldn't quite succeed in taking it as I also am starting to fade back from Larson but Busher he has had a rough start to the season he's had some tire failure uh, as well uh, caused some issues here for him so things haven't gone smooth for that 17 team so far and a win would be of course the remedy for all of that struggle that they have had in these handful of races that we've had so far and he's certainly up there right now in the mix but we come to lap 9 of 22 here in stage 2 and I'm struggling uh, I, I just don't have the pace in the car you can see the 5's driving away the 17 is uh, hanging right there with the one of Chastain and now I'm under pressure from the Napa Auto Parts Triple A of Chase Elliott and I knew I couldn't hold him off much longer so I just let him slip through on the inside and, and just say go have it Chase because yeah that's that's all I got here as we exit turn four so he'll go through into the fourth position we'll drop down to P5 13 laps to go at this point in stage at number two uh, and we cannot make it to the end of the stage so if it stays green we will need to make a pit stop actually to the left rear quarter panel of the nine just about got back up the inside but into turn three we will get back up the inside because the nine goes all the way up to the outside wall here through the center of three and four and the caution's gonna fly a little bit before the midway point of the second stage so this is gonna bring everybody into the pits i need a bit more pace man it's just struggling the longer the run goes okay we'll add some tape here 
James Small uh, comes over the radio, lets us know he's going to add some grill tape. Now, uh, as Austin Dillon appears to be the reason for the caution, it's going to be day over for the number three. We gain another spot in the pit lane. Our teammates gained us three spots and two pit stops. So far, so good there. Elliot it's loses one driver. spot. Chastain, Bush of the here. front row. We'll get back underway here with just uh, under 10 laps to go. When we cross the line, nine to go to be exact. We're back underway from Atlanta in stage number two. And it's Elliot just behind Bubba Wallace. How about in the mirror? Look, Ryan Priest for Rick Ware Racing. Inside the top 10, not on luck, not on timing or strategy. That's speed. Let's put this number 15 machine Ford Mustang there, the Hunt Brothers pizza car, into the top 10. So pay attention to Ryan Priest and we've seen this Rick Ware Racing team find some improvements in. They've got, of course, the 15, and then they've got the part-time 51 where they've got a new driver in that car every week, and we're really seeing the full-time cars start to exceed, which we expected after all of the controversy and, and charter sales and, and charter buying at the tail end of last season. I'm struggling. I am going backwards immediately here. Haley through. Byron to the outside. SVG on the inside. We're three wide in the middle. Kyle Busch as well into the mix. To the inside of us he goes and we are just dropping like a rock. Here comes Chandler Smith and Daytona 500 winner of the season. Todd Gilliland in that number 34. And there you see the temp light comes on. James added too much tape, man. The temp is shooting through the roof. Okay, just hang on to the end of the stage here. We will fix it. And you hear it there, just just really told to hang on to the end of the stage. That's all we can do. Uh, so we're going to be lacking pace and, until the end of the stage. And you can see it. I'm three wide on the inside, just going backwards. There goes Gilliland, uh, Chandler Smith as well going to go through. So this is going to drop us down to P13. Chastain out in front trying to, trying to sweep the first two stages here from Atlanta. But we would settle in right here. We would actually hold on uh, to 13th and with two to go in the stage to actually put some pressure back to the inside of this 13 car of Chandler Smith down this bank straight away. So going for the overtake now uh, into turn number three and we're going to be able to clear that uh, colleague machine. So thank you very much now. Final lap of the stage and look who would run us down. Joey Logano and the Hunt Brothers pizza machine is coming alive in the end of stage two. Ross Chastain sweeps the first two stages. Another playoff point there to the number one track house driver track house is on it today p12 for us in stage number two not exactly what we wanted as haley is going to pick up the final stage point but all of track house racing right now inside the top 10 kyle bush p7 shane van gisbergen there in p8 uh so a really good run so far for that team we're going to come in and of course james small is going to fix the grill tape situation there it's going to go down to 35 percent but uh, tire pressures are still changing a little bit here uh jacking up the left sides now from about a 23-0 to a 25-0 uh, going into this third and final stage here. Now Zane Smith currently the last car running. Is that uh, number 21 Wood Brothers Racing Team not been pretty this season. Not been pretty really the whole career mode now as we're going to get back underway for the start of stage number three. Ross Chastain has led uh, many laps here on his way to winning stage one as well as stage two. Does he have the fastest car? Does anybody have anything for him? Ryan Priest restarts P3 with Bubba Wallace there in P2. Haley leaves the door open. I'm going to stuff my nose three wide in the middle. Here comes my teammate Denny Hamlin up the inside as well in his brand new color that blue and white Alaska Airlines livery looks absolutely fantastic right there. Look at that machine. I actually really love that paint scheme. Now, uh, as we exit turn four behind one of our Alliance teammates, of course, with Tyler Reddick in that number 45. Reddick was so close to winning at Richmond. Came up just short. He wants to, of course, get redemption for that today. I got a, a sleeper pick here to start stage three. That's a 22 of Logano as we wash way up the track on the exit of turn two. Fortunately, keeping it off the wall is the Andretti Global car of Carson Hosevar up the inside in his second season of full-time cup series competition we're really starting to see improvement out of Josefar and not only him but the team as well because last season of course not only was he a rookie but that team just struggled in general other than winning the 500 with Corey LaJoy into the outside wall on the exit of turn two with 20 laps to go as we continue to struggle a little bit here with the handling as Ryan Priest currently leads the way but we just don't have the car here 
in stage two. We don't have the car in stage three that we thought we had earlier in the race in stage one. Ryan Blaney now on my inside. Suarez, Barry just behind. Uh, Suarez, of course, in that Meyer Shank car. Two new teams have joined the grid in two seasons completed of this career mode with Andretti Global as well as Meyer Shank here in this third season. But now new leader, the 17 of Chris Busher. We're rallying our way back with 18 laps to go. We run in that 18th position. Now up the inside of the 16 of Bowman, who's had a very solid day so far in the equipment that he is in. Up to P17, though we go and we drive away. Busher continues to lead lap 49 at this point, approaching 16 to go. And here we go, closing in on Chandler Smith, as well as Carson Hosevar here. We'll go up the inside of that gain, very bright green, number 13 Chevrolet. Camaro will pass him. We'll go on the inside of Osivar as well, and we're going to be able to get a half a car length on him on the exit of turn four. SVG up next in P14. He's dropped outside of the top 10 with 15 laps to go at this point. We run this group down of SVG, Hamlin, uh, Haley as well, but once again, the second mile and a half this season, and it's no Joe Gibbs cars in the top 10 right now. The best one running will now be me as we go three wide with an aggressive move on SVG and Hamlin as well as we now go uh, for that, what, 13th position that is. So so Denny Hamlin, myself, Bell, Gibbs, just not showcasing uh, much speed. And very quick correction, Gibbs had a top 10 in Chicago. Uh, but the rest of the team, of course, ran like garbage. Haley up my inside into turn number three, going for 12th place. Unfortunately, that move doesn't quite work out for myself. And SVG is going to power his way back to the inside. Now down this front straightaway. So we'll continue wheel to wheel with 12 laps to go in this race. He finally clears us on the exit of turn two. So back down to P14. As I'm actually going to give this 97 a shot to the bumper, just trying to get him going forward because they didn't want to make it three wide there. It felt like it would have been a bit awkward. Uh, so we push him through, passing Haley. Now we're up the inside of that number 60, but the caution is going to fly with 12 laps to go as now this opens the door, uh, of course, for a bit of strategy as Busher leads the way. All right, mate, I'm thinking two tires here. We will do two. I mean, if you're sure that's the right call, uh, yeah, let's go for it. And there's the call. Two tires, uh, and it's going to be nine eight laps to go so it's kind of on a, a a time frame of where four could be the way two could be the way it, it's really track dependent and i'm hoping that we got the right track for the right tire combo here uh as you're going to find out very quickly the answer is wrong Everybody took four. We go up 13 positions here. Chastain will be front row with us. Chris Buescher just behind in P3. So now we lead the field back to the green flag. But the, of course, issue is it's eight to go. We're on two tires. Atlanta tire wear is a big thing. I think we just made a grave mistake here now as we head down into turn number one leading the way. I mean, can we even lead a whole lap? That's going to be the next question here as we exit turn two and head down this back straightaway. Less than 10 laps to go here from Atlanta now. And it's Busher and Chastain chasing. Don't write off Ryan Priest quite yet. He's up here in the top five mix as well through three and four. You can see the rear view mirror here. Here comes Chris Busher getting very large in our mirror. Chastain's dropped backwards now. Byron and Bush have both gone through, and we lead the opening lap of the restart, but that's not going to matter. Busher to the outside, and he's going to bring Kyle Busch with him, and as well, Joey Logano continues to climb his way forward. He's into the mix as well as we head down this back straightaway. He's going to power through into the third position as we approach six laps to go. Byron as well as Priest now all over the back of me, but Byron would fade in behind. And now, as you can see, as we continue on, we just, we're just dropping like a rock now. Larson, Byron, Chastain, Reddick, Priest have all gone by. We're down to ninth with five laps to go. Here comes SVG, Shane Van Gisberg into the outside. That will put us down to P10. Hosevar passes us. We get split three wide in the middle. We got two Rick Ware cars in the top 11 right now. Uh, as you see Kazgrala going through. Bubba Wallace really getting absolutely screwed here late in this race. A great top five car now outside the top 15. LaJoy into the top 15 as we continue to just drop down the order. Dr struggling with a tight car, hoping at this point for a caution. Uh, that's only going to be the only thing that's going to save us at this point. Down to P21 behind Denny Hamlin. Bell right there in front of us with three to go. The caution is going to fly and it looks like it's for Daniel Suarez in that Meyer Shank 06. So obviously the strategy didn't work. We're going to come in and put four tires on it. Uh, I'm sorry, that was the wrong call. Yeah, I would agree. 
not much you can do about it. We're going to get ready to roll uh, again here from Atlanta and, and just get what we can out of this finish, which is now NASCAR overtime. We're back underway here from Atlanta, and is Chris Buescher leading the way? Can he get his first win of the season? How about Chase Briscoe? It's been a miserable, uh, miserable day uh, for the Money Graham number 14 for Stuart Haas Racing on the weekend that they announced his two-car team is going to be swapping out of Ford for someone else now, uh, and they have just not looked good. Josh Berry running better than that 14 by about 10 spots or so as we head down this bank straight away the 31 of Josh Balicki right here uh, his first ride in the Cup Series this season and it's for that call like 31 so through three and four Fisher to the top while Larson has gone to the inside. Larson trying to steal one in overtime, get a second win of the season, but Busher with the momentum on the top stays ahead of the white flag. Now as we look to the outside of Timmy Hill and the number 62, one of the part-time drivers in this race, Trevor Bain, another one as well. Larson in front right now by half a car length, but Busher's got the momentum on the top. He'll get back out in front of that number five down the back stretch. We'll give a huge shot to the back of Sammy Smith right there on that uh, number 27 in Dreddy Global Machine side by side for the win through three and four. Larson bottom, Busher top, but Busher's got the momentum on the, on the exit of turn four. Chris Busher will hold off Larson and get his first win of the season and put himself into the playoffs. We're three wide at the line, 25th. A bit of an embarrassment. We were better than that, uh, and we just we just dropped the ball so hard. We fumbled really hard as Chris Busher celebrates the victory as you see the finishing order on your screen and it's kind of Joe Gibbs Racing is what I'm looking at again for this mile and a half. We all struggled today again. Uh, there's got to be something we got to work on immediately because mile and a half make up everything. So I think a team meeting is definitely on the way about this uh, going into next episode as you see the rest of the finishing order as well on your screen. Uh, so uh, rough days for the Stuart Haas guys. Chase Briscoe all the way towards the bottom. Nothing really went well from him. Uh, you see the DNFs as well. Well, uh, but now looking at the points here for the Cup Series, it's Gibbs, Larson, Haley, Busher, Van Gisbergen, uh, Gilliland all locked in, with Chastain being the first one in the playoffs without a victory. Keselowski, currently the last driver in. Next episode, it's the final four track in Las Vegas. Just, of course, the first race we go there this season for round seven. I'll see you guys then. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.